hey guys, I'm just going to do, I need to record this anyways and put it on the website, so I figured I'd just stream it real quick first and see if you have any questions after. Uh, but we're shipping these cable kits now. Uh, this is what they'll look like when you we, you come more or less um, and I just want to show you how to use them real quick to make sure no one makes any mistakes uh, When you dump them out, they have three cables in them The first one you notice has no ends on it. This one is for your RX So you're probably gonna need to solder this to your receiver um, And then once you do it'll plug directly into the receiver port um, You want to use the one with the TX one and just be careful when you're plugging these in because the pins are fragile. Don't force them and just kind of you know, plug it in, make sure it goes in loosely. And there you go. Um, the way this is color coded, the green is your the TX1 pin. Uh, the yellow is your RX3 pin. The red is your 5 volts. And the black is your ground. If you need a 3 volt one, um, you could just use TX4 over here, or you could just depin it and put it in another connector and put the three volt in there. Um, so that the, the receiver one's pretty easy. Just plug it in, solder to your receiver. Uh, the next one you have is the camera one. The camera one goes in the camera port here. Um, so you look for the one that says video in, which is this one. Uh, again, just be careful when you're plugging it in. Make sure it's secure. Um, and on this one, you notice there's one that is disconnected. So you can do one of two things. If you look at my camera, this one's a Runcam Night Eagle. Uh, this one has, uh, well, it won't work with this one because it has different uh, a different setup than normal for camera control. But actually here, I got some new Runcams here. That's a bad example. Um, if you look at a normal Runcam, it has this... Um, it has a ground and an OSD connector on the second one, so you can actually take that pin and you figure out which one it needs to go in. So if it goes like this, so it'll go on the right side of this, and you can just shove this pin right into this connector like so. And then once it's in there all the way, it'll lock in place, and so then I can plug that into this part for the OSD camera control, like so. Uh, I might put that in upside down, but but you get the idea. And then um, this one goes directly in. Just make sure like the power, the ground, and the video line up. So even though there's more than three pins, you only need the left three. So you just line it up with the left three and put it on, and it'll, it should plug in. These, these take a little more force to plug them in. And there you go. So it leaves one pin empty, but that's fine. That's your audio pin, which you don't use. Um, and then the last one is the VTX. Um, it, it was supposed to come wired for the TBS VTX, um, but it actually is the reverse of what it should be. If, if it plugged in this way, it would be right. Uh, we're going to fix it in the next batch. Um, but on this one, it's, it's just pretty simple. So if you look at your TBS VTX, you see we need it to be uh, the order needs to be power, ground, then video. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to rearrange these pins, and I'll do one real quick. Um, they're not too difficult. You can use either a pair of tweezers, or you can use an uh, X-Acto knife. Um, and, you know, depending on your VTX, they might be in a whole different order. I mean, if your VTX, if it's like this one is made for it, but let's say it uses one more pin, you can just usually use like flush cut dikes like these or a razor blade and then just trim off the part right here, which will make it fit in any of them. Um, so you just take this and you lift up, hopefully you can see this, this little piece of plastic and then you just gently pull on the wire you're trying to get out. And it comes right out like that and then all you gotta do just don't lift up too much, don't break the plastic, but then all you gotta do is just shove it into the pin you want it in, like so. So now that one's in there, so I can do, I'll do them all real quick. So I took the green one out, so the next one is ground. So the same thing, you pull it out, you put it in, shove it in there. Okay, so the video was in the right way, but then this is the last one that was in. 
explains it going there, I believe. Let's just check. So the last one is the audio wire. Yeah, audio. So this is important you do this because otherwise you could potentially fry your VTX or something. And then you put that in there. Sometimes it's being a little tricky. You can just use your tip of your knife or your tweezers to push it in. Maybe I put it in there upside down. Let's see. It's been a little tricky. There it goes. It went right in. Just had to wiggle a little. So then once you do that, you can just plug it directly into your VTX. Uh, and you can plug it into the video out port right here. And that'll connect your smart audio and your video and everything. And, and that's all you really need to do. To plug the cables in. So um, just when you're putting these cables underneath, just uh, it's usually better to mount it this way and then run the cables over top. That way you keep any wires away from the gyro, which is in the center. So um, usually that's the way to do it. Now the only exception to doing it this way is if you have an OSD, or I mean a millivolt OSD. Uh, the only thing is the connector for the camera on this one actually only has three wires. So all you need to do um, is take this plug and you can either, the easiest thing to do is just to take this plug and then just take either razor blade and flush cut dikes and this one pin that isn't being used, just trim off the end. So um, either you can you know, just do this, just, just work it a little bit at a time from the outside in so you don't get the pins you need, or use some flush cut dikes and do the same thing. And just make it a little smaller and it, it should go right in this hole as well. Uh, we'll get some cable kits made or to fix that too, um, but at least this gets you going uh, on this stuff. So, I don't know if anyone has any questions. This should be like this, and it should be like this. That's actually what it should look like when it's all done. And then, of course, the ESC wire comes with the ESCs, and that would plug into that one. I recommend uh, just using some hot glue. Once you plug them in, just put a little drop of hot glue on each one. To keep them from coming out, you can even put some on the side of the connector if you want to secure the connector in place to make sure it doesn't break off as easy. Uh, so I don't know if there's any questions. Uh, yeah, sir, sure, you can share it all you want. And then uh, anyone else have any questions? But I mean, this build should make it super easy to build a quad. And like I said, the next batch, are gonna come pre-done even for this VTX, so you can easily plug it in without even having to switch pins. Uh, but that should do it. Yeah, so someone asked, um, can they use an, a five volt uh, Unify, which is somewhere on my desk. I just had one a minute ago, but it's kind of a mess. Oh, here it is. So this is the five volt one. Um, so you can use the five volt one, but which comes with this wire, I think. Yeah, so actually it comes with the connector you need with it on the one side. So you can actually just D pin. Actually, I don't know if that'll work. So yeah, so the easiest way to do it is either get a connector that uses the 1.0 to 1.0, and maybe we can make some cables for this. That should be an easy thing to do. This is a 1.0 millimeter SH connector. Um, so you could either do that and then you can just plug it directly in or you can just splice the wires and you can get the five volts from the camera connection here. Uh, the camera is powered by five volts and along the same lines is if your camera has an issue being powered by five volts, you can either splice into one of the high volt pins or um, or you know just directly solder it to, to full voltage pin on you know anything. Because some cameras seem to be temperamental at 5 volts, even though they say they're supposed to be between 5 volts. Um, and that's something we may fix on the newer ones. Maybe we'll just make it high voltage. 
and make the uh, BTX one selectable. I think our next revision will probably end up doing that. So anything else? Anyone else have any questions? Preston, see any questions? All right, so that should about do it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Just hit us up, um, and uh, I'll be glad to answer them. But that should show you how to use cables. Thanks for watching, guys.